Make sure you stand till the end. People make a common mistake that can cost you thousands of dollars, so we'll share what it is. Hey guys, welcome back to Auto Repair guys, thank you guys for watching and subscribing to the channel, today will be a super helpful video to any of you having a Hyundai or Kia with any GDI engine guys, if you have any of those and you have check engine light on and code P0300, stay with us, we'll explain what can cause that and how to fix it, this is one of the hardest codes to fix, so many things can trigger it and we're going to cover almost anything we, uh, we see here at the shop guys based on our experience, before we start let me tell you, uh, there are a few things that you need to make sure you prevent because if you don't do it right it can cause damage to the electrical system modules computers that can cost you thousands of dollars stay with us we'll explain what it is uh, let me tell you a little bit about us guys every single car we get at the garage we try to make at least two to three hundred free repair videos why simply because our mission in the shop is to save you as much money as we can all we need in return please subscribe to the channel like the video that way we can keep providing this free information to you now if you need to buy any parts tools for a good price and quick shipping for your Hyundai or Kia check out the link in the description of the video below that's where we get all our tools and supplies from with that being said this is guys a 2.4 GDI engine that we'll be demonstrating many of you have been asking us actually in the comment section below to share information about the diagnostic that we use here at the shop daily this is the one I'll put the link in the description of the video below if you want to check the current price and features it works on Hyundai Kia and almost any car you can think of it's amazing too guys definitely check it out let me move it to the side because we need to explain quite a few things now okay about what can cause any of this call uh, uh, what can cause that code and any of the reasons that uh, uh, can trigger it. P0300 means random cylinder misfire. What that means? If you have a code 301, 302, 303, 304, it means that you have certain misfire on certain cylinder. 301 is cylinder number one misfire, 302 is number two misfire, 303 is the third cylinder and 304 is the last one. The last, uh, the last digit of the code corresponds to the cylinder number starting from the serpentine belt. But P0300 guys is hard to fix and diagnose due to the fact that it means that let's say maybe one time cylinder number one will not be misfiring then cylinder number three then cylinder number two so it alternates what can easily cause that okay let's cover that and uh, we'll start with number one thing you need to make sure that you have the correct type of spark plugs if you have the wrong type of spark plugs for your car okay they may work at different temperatures they may have different gap it will not work correctly and that can cause random mis cylinder misfire number two make sure the spark plug gap is according to specs if the gap is too big what will happen guys if that big is too wide or too small it will not work it will cause misfires as well so if your spark plugs are old or they're not gapped correctly that can happen we have a special video about the spark plug gap on a gdi engine hyundai kia check it out now something else guys you gotta make sure you have a good ground wire somewhere on the engine usually to the body you have a ground wire and if you don't have good clean ground okay what can happen actually uh, your ignition codes may not work correctly if the ground is loose or corroded okay you can get these codes number four now that's where things get a little bit more complicated problems okay with fuel delivery system you will guys have okay here on top let me show you this is your high pressure fuel pump that's on top of the engine it will be right here this is uh, it will be facing this way this is your high pressure fuel pump you have one fuel pump that's in the fuel tank it's known as a low pressure pump and it will deliver the fuel to the high pressure pump the high pressure pump will create more pressure and send it to the fuel rail because this is a gdi engine which is direct fuel injection now if the low pressure pump in the fuel tank is actually not delivering enough fuel to the high pressure pump the engine may be starving for fuel which can lead to misfire and often that can be accompanied by another code such as p0171 if you have code p0171 and p0300 okay most of the times those fixes will work for you so uh, we'll cover a few reasons one of them uh, weak fuel pump in the fuel tank number two it could be clogged up fuel filter that does not allow enough fuel to come to the engine number three it could be problems with the high pressure fuel pump and not building enough pressure number four it could be bad fuel rail pressure sensor number five it could be water in the fuel system if you have water in the fuel system the injectors may not work correctly and that can easily co cause that code p0300 and code p0 
171 as well. Now, what else can cause that, guys? Vacuum leaks. Vacuum leak is some extra air the engine is getting, but it doesn't know about that air. That can be caused by uh, bad vacuum lines, cracked vacuum lines. For instance, that's the intake manifold. You can see how many vacuum lines are on the back here on the side. Uh, for instance, this one is cracked here, and you don't even know until you look at it. You can see all the cracks. If you sucking extra air through any of the vacuum lines okay the engine will get more air the same amount of fuel which will be unstable mixture that can lead to misfires as well that can be caused by failing uh, gaskets such as intake gasket throttle body gasket loose intake holes uh, so uh, all these things can trigger that we have a special video that talks about vacuum leaks as well in some cases that code p0300 can be caused even by a Bogged up catalytic converter guys that's your catalytic converter it can be caused by that one as well so hopefully guys the video will be helpful to any of you trying to figure this thing out those are the most common ones that we see here at the shop uh, another thing that uh, you may notice remove the ignition codes and check if you have engine oil in the spark plug hole the well here that means we have a leaking valve cover gasket if you have engine oil around the ignition code that can cause to, uh, misfires as well or you may even have water if somebody washed your engine in the past car dealership that were reselling the car sometimes they will wash them they will not clean them and as a result that uh, water vapor can cause random misfires as well hopefully the video will be helpful thank you for watching and see you next time